my name's Paul. I work at Red Hat in Storage Engineering. And in this short demo, I'm going to show you um, the disk replacement process in Red Hat Ceph Storage 5. So what we're looking at right now is the Ceph dashboard. And in the top right, we can see our OSD count. So you see we've got a small cluster of just six OSDs. Let's have a, a deeper look into the cluster. And we'll look at the physical disks. So within Red Hat Ceph Storage 5, um, the devices are managed by uh, an OSD service specification, which holds a filter. And that filter governs which devices will be used and consumed by Ceph as OSDs. So right now we have, or I have, uh, an OSD specification that will pick devices as they arrive, um, as long as they are of a certain size, uh, which matches my criteria. So let's have a look at the OSDs and we're going to simulate a failure on one of them. So we're going to pick on this guy, RH Ceph 53 OSD 3. And if we just flick back, we can see that that is on device SDC. And that's the guy that we're going to uh, mess with. So what I'm doing is to simulate uh, a drive failure is kill the daemon. Um, so typically if a device has problems, then the OSD daemon is going to encounter those media errors and, uh, and fail and crash. Um, and then over a period of time, it will be marked out from the cluster, which will signify that it's no longer available to Ceph. So now we can see that um, what I've done is I've uh, created that kind of condition where we have a down and out OSD. So now we can go through the replacement process. So let's um, delete it. Now in this case, I'm going to keep the OSD ID and I'm going to insert a new drive. So let's go through the delete process. So now the delete process has started as we can see on the right hand side. Um, and then once that's complete and we're in a destroyed state, uh, I'm going to, which it is now, I'm going to um, uh, attach a new drive to RH Ceph 53. Um, the orchestration layer within Red Hat Ceph Storage 5 um, periodically reaches out to all the hosts to look for new devices. And if there are any devices which match an existing uh, service specification, it will pick them up and automatically um, deploy those devices as OSDs. And we can see that's what's happening right now uh, without us making any changes at all. Um, so the device has changed its status from uh, 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 destroyed to down. And we can check to see what's going on in our notifications. Nothing yet. Now it's gone into an in and up state and we can see rebalance has kicked in automatically. And that's how you replace a failed drive in Red Hat Ceph Storage 5. If you uh, look at the physical disks again, make sure I'm not lying, we can see that OSD3 is actually now on SDD, and it was on SDC. So we can see that we have actually replaced it. It's gone onto a new drive within the cluster. I hope you found this uh, useful and you get a chance to try out Red Hat Ceph Storage 5. Thanks.